Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And we got some Sam and a little bit of Dick. What's up? And we got Tom. Jessica, and we got the puppers. We're just out here on day two of our section paddle of the Manistee River, making some breakfast, getting ready to hit the river for the day, pack some things up. Thanks for joining us. tip. If you wake up early, you can have a hot breakfast. If you start your day with a hangover, only way to go is up. I don't know some adventures, they just look so bright and chipper, and some adventures they just look like they've been on the river for three days. I love my you puppy. Sunscreen. Help yourself. That's be a 50. Keep that. Keep that sun away. <laughs> and with that, everyone is awake. If you go, I mean, if so we were looking up by camp, and if up by there, there's this little tombstone we're gonna go take a look at. We've already seen it, but we'll show you guys. So this was Bob's spot, I guess, in loving memory of Robert Shulman. He fished this river for 50 years. This was his favorite place on earth. If you want a big fish, pray to Bob. Guess we'll have to try that a little more. It's a nice little poem here. It's cool when you find little stuff like that in the woods. Memorials in places where you're making memories is always a neat look. We're gonna get back to everybody and try and encourage everyone to get on the river. At Michigan Adventure Life, we cook all the bacon at once. Oh, I've never seen bacon cooked like that before. Let's go. Good girl. Oh. Okay. Now we gotta play catch up. With so many people on an adventure with me, you know, I have a bigger tendency to try and stay back and try and film them, film the dogs. 
You get enough of just me. Everybody just looks at my dog and you know what they think? God, what a pretty fucking dog. So this is day two out here on the Manistee River. We got a little bit of cloud action now, but as you can see behind me, it's been a sunny day for the most part, you know? Real nice weekend. Water's got a nice current to it, but it's not too fast. How are you guys doing? Great, well. I found a tiny inchworm. Aww. And I don't want to drop him in the water, so I'm just going to hold it. That's fair. I might put it on the dog and have it. She was so concerned when everybody left. Aww. Aww, I know. They're your friends. It's always good to see your friends. Starting to get a little uh, overcast. It was quite beautiful earlier. Uh, just paddling down the Manistee. Dick tip. Take frequent stops to stretch and hydrate. Kara, come on. That was silly. That was silly. You're a silly dog. I, w I want to stop here and have a drink. This is not Rainbow Bend. I know. Well, I kind of figured it's only, it hasn't been that long. No, it's only been like an hour. I didn't really know, but I been going out of Figured I'd stop and, well, I didn't know it wasn't Rainbow Bend when I pulled off, but I figured I'd stop and get some water. Yeah, I mean, it was um, just over a mile, or two miles now. Yeah. How's it going? Good. Cool. Okay, we all got us a little snack in. Got some water in us. Some nummies and some water. Some num nums. Num nums and, and we are getting ready to get back in the boats. We're gonna hit the river. The next stop is Rainbow Bend. Mm -hmm. uh, we're probably gonna stop there for lunch and then figure out how much further we're going. You know, probably just a few more miles after that, we're gonna find a campsite. Mm. Well, just kicking back, relaxing on the river. Such a nice, uh, nice flow, you know, the current's real, real forgiving right now. It'll take you right where you need to go. Won't take you into the brush where you don't want to be. Then you get one of these little surprises every once in a while. Up here we got a couple, uh, tree trunks sticking out of the ground. Right now, what I'm trying to do is... Is that it? Is that why you're admiring this man's <laughs> canoe with the flat back? Explain it, dickery. Well, this flat back is for an electric motor mount. I wouldn't touch another man's canoe. Yeah, right. And you just don't want to paddle anymore? And you think Actually, an electric motor would be easier? I enjoy paddling a lot. I'm going to hold you to that. How do you guys enjoy paddling? I don't mind it. It's going pretty good. It's going great. So we just stopped here at Rainbow Bend. We're gonna eat some lunch. It looks delightful. Hmm. We stopped and had a good lunch. Some sandwiches and cheeses and such. And now we are uh, putting off to more adventure. Adventure. How's Team High and Dry doing? Wonderful. Team Aluminum Monster. Off, off to the races. Team I'm an Eagle Scout. 
killing it. Just absolutely as consistent as always. I think Kara and I are gonna get back in the boat, hit the road, and leave all the fine people at Rainbow Bend alone. We're only gonna paddle for like another hour and probably make camp. nest right there with some big goose eggs must be that time of year man we just all look so goddamn majestic care can't help it can you sit can you sit down she doesn't want to sit down. She's obstinate right now. Oh, good girl. Got another, another half hour paddling probably. And then we're gonna try and find somewhere to make camp. Proper paddling technique is uh, mid to lower grass with your lower arm and a nice fulcrum grip with your top arm. And you go in and pull back. Dick tip, make sure to enjoy the scenery. If you paddle too fast, you might end up running out of river. We're just paddling along, trying to find somewhere that's not swamp or hills. This one is hill, the other side is swamp. So we actually think we might finish today because if we keep going much longer, we're gonna hit the insta launch where we park the car. Can't go past the car. Can't go past the car, that's for damn sure. Eventually. So it turns out, between Rainbow Bend and M55, it's all swamp land or private land. All the public land we can camp on is uh, swamp. So here we are at the bridge for M55, a day early. We've been paddling since 10 a.m.-ish, and here we are. We're gonna head to the inch launch and uh, grab our canoes, or grab our cars, grab our canoes out of the water, so we can get done. Oh, boy, boy. Like that Dude, I don't care. That still wasn't a bad day of paddling. Like, in the grand scheme of how far we Kara, hold on. Kara, hold on. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, bud. Oh, Look, a real friend. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, that's friendly enough. Thank you. Oh, you're taking up. So there we go. Made it back. We're at the Insta Launch campground where we paid them to park so we could pull our boats out. We made our three-day trip into a two-day trip and we went and got the cars and now we're unpacking getting ready to get out of here. It is a beautiful day on the Manistee River. We're out of here early enough that we can help each other lift things up onto the car. So you know if you like this adventure go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. Thank you. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching guys. See you in season three.